All right, everybody, we're back again for the Call of Duty Black Ops DLC maps, which is called the First Strike Map Pack. And the third map we're going to try out is called, I guess it's Kowloon. Uh, let's see, the description says sniping spots and sneaky pathways on the stormy rooftops of Kowloon City. All right, so let's do that. Since, uh, let me check what class I'm going to roll with now. I have my classes broken down since when you're doing combat training, they give you only five different spots. Well, five different uh, categories you can uh, create classes for. And I think the reason for doing that is because if most of you probably know by now, the first perk one, perk one is the perk that actually decides what type of outfit your uh, character will wear. So, for example, there are only five perks uh, for each uh, perk category. So, for perk one, you have lightweight, scavenger, ghost, flak jacket, and hardline. But as you'll see, as I select, if I choose a different perk for perk one, watch the character I have, watch, watch him change his outfit. So this is how you look when you have lightweight. I'm using Arctic, let me go to like, uh, I normally roll with, let's see, right here, SOG. So this is how the lightweight looks. When you go to scavenger, then, then your character gets kind of more of a, uh, he has you know, a backpack, wears one of those little jungle uh, kind of safari looking hats on. You go to Ghost, of course, that's more of your sniper class anyway. So, of course, they're going to have a lot of uh, camouflage type of things on their, on their clothing. And you see this online a lot. Everybody pretty much rocks Ghost cause, so they won't get saw by the UAVs and stuff. Um, flag Jacket is more of a uh, kind of like a, a tactical set where you can uh, avoid a lot of the damage to uh, from explosives. So, and then Hardline. It's kind of like, you know, at least for this class, it kind of has your, your typical soldier type of look. So, it depends, and it changes with any, any category, you know, any, I guess, what can you call this? Depending on the faction that you're, you want to play as, you see how it changes the outfit. So, that's the NVA, uh, his Urban Black Ops. Look at the changes in the outfits there. That's urban Spetsness. So, you see, you know, your first perk is always the one that decides... Uh, you know what type of outfit you're going to be wearing. So I'm gonna roll with the hard line. Let me make sure that's right. Yeah. So hard line scavenger, lightweight, flag jacket. Go. Okay. So so I'm gonna go with my hard line class. Let me see. Let me take my weapon. Uh. I'm I, I I don't really play with the aug that much. Let me see my gun stats. Yeah. I don't, let me go and try to rock this aug. Uh, we'll go with the dual mag. Uh, oh, sorry. Let me roll with the Op 40. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, looks pretty sweet. Um, holding on to the Strella. So I have, for my lethals, I have what? Frag, Nova Gas, and Claymore. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, of course, my first perk is going to be Hardline, so less kills to get my kill streaks. Slider Hand Pro, that to me, that's the most valuable perk there is. Because, I mean, you, you get to your aiming down the sight so quickly when you have Slider Hand Pro. It's ridiculous. I mean, that helps out online a lot that you can get, you know, get your gun up quicker and, and aim better. But let's see, with the AUG. Let me just, maybe I should roll with Harden. See. Okay, can't do Warlord because I don't have any attachments. I haven't paid to lock any additional attachments. So, steady aim. Eh. Let's go with Harden. And then tactical mask. Since I have the Nova Gas, I'm gonna roll with the tactical mask. Let's see what kind of face paint do I wanna roll with on this? Nah. Oh no, don't wanna do that. I may just roll with the with the blitz. Let's see. No, let's do that. All right, here we go. I spent way too much time on that. It's already almost four and a half minutes in, and I hadn't even started the match. All right, here we go. Kowloon. Oh, oh, oh. Again, this is combat training uh, on the regular difficulty. So, here we 
go. Oh, actually has rain effects and the rain uh, sound. I like that. Whoa, okay. I'm liking how the map is started. Now you got planes and it also has a slight fog, fogish type of effect to it. It's not like the graphics aren't really sharp. It has like a hazy look to simulate rain. Okay, so let's see. We're taking the lead. We're taking the lead. And there are supposed to be zip lines on this map. So I'm gonna try to find them. Oh, I, oh, I see them. I see him. I see the zip line. Hell, where's the action? Oh. Damn. Oh, was spitting though. Okay, so I see how to get to the zip line. It has the arrows pointing the direction that the zip line goes. So let me see if I can go around this way. Damn you. You almost got it, boy. Where the zip line is. Seen an enemy run down there. Oh, there's a zip line right here. Let's see if we can get on it. Yeah, buddy. That's pretty cool. I mean, this map is so freaking big. I mean, I mean. Oh. Enemy spy plane incoming. Okay. All right, now it's time to go ahead and get some kills. Trying to show this map off, and I'm we lost the lead. not really good at finding people. Dang! I don't know how he seen me that quickly, but okay. guy they always are in the perfect place aren't they oh that's somebody uh oh oh that's my guy I see him Trying to jump up and stab him? I guess not. <laughs> oh, my bad. No commando on this game. <laughs> oh, shoot. They got a chopper up there? Where is it? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Wow, we're losing bad. Okay. Come on, we gotta make a nice look comeback. Stick with my team. Good thing friendly fire isn't on, because I completely murdered my teammate right there. Let me 
got to make this epic comeback. Let's go. Damn. Did he have a shotgun? What? I didn't even see him hit me with anything. Yep. Alright, we'll see the skull. We know there's some enemies nearby. Darn, I tried to get out of the way of that. Come on, guys. And we're trailing by 1100. Gotta get 11 kills on them. Dang. I should have hip fired right there. Shouldn't have. Sometimes I got a bad habit of uh, always wanting to look down the sights to get a kill. I have to learn how to balance that out with hip, hip fire. Oh, how did you know it was right there? Look at him. He, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> I spy planes in the air. I need to set up a Claymore somewhere just for the hell of it. Claymore works. <laughs> oh, I'm on top of the world. Making a comeback. Come on. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Darn. Oh, we're on behind by nine points, nine hundred. Uh, I'm gonna throw this care package. Oh man, trying to separate me from my care package. Oh, that's a chopper gun. Oh no, that's a horrible way to lose. I got, I got killed on the last kill while trying to get my care package. Mm, that's bad. Told you I'm an average player, 14 and 12. <laughs> now sometimes I can get some pretty, I can get some 30 and 9, 30 and 5 or something like that. Usually those kind of games come on Nuketown. You get killed so easily, then you get that chopper gun and those dogs. That's like the best kill streak combination ever. You throw the dogs out there, you get in the chopper gun up, shh, it's over. I like that map. That map was actually, uh, there was a lot of hiding. It, was, it seemed like it was much larger than, uh, than a medium sized map is how they have it labeled. But it was, uh, it was a lot of places to go, a lot of corners, a lot of turns, yet it was still open. So uh, I like that map too. So, so far these maps are actually turning out to be pretty good. Still don't think that they're worth the, uh, you know, 1,200 Microsoft points or $15. <clears throat> All right, so we'll be trying the next map in the next video.